The smoking is the most common cause of esophageal cancer and definitely by stopping smoking you can decrease your uh, risk of getting esophageal cancers. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Jedi Rao uh, and I'm a consultant surgeon in upper GI, uh, gastrointestinal surgery uh, and bariatric and metabolic uh, surgery. Uh, I'm a consultant here in Arden JR Surgery in Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospital and I've uh, started my practice here uh, since January last year. Before this, I was a senior consultant and uh, head of upper GI section in Tan Tok Seng Hospital uh, for the last 10 years before I started my practice. Yes, uh, esophageal cancer is common in Asia, but thankfully in Singapore, the incidence of esophageal cancer has been coming down over the last few decades. Esophageal cancer can be of two types. Uh, one is what is called the squamous cell carcinoma, and the other is an adenocarcinoma. The incidence of squamous cell carcinoma, which is more common in the middle and upper part of the esophagus, is uh, decreasing in Singapore, whereas the incidence of the lower part of the esophagus, which is the adenocarcinoma, is actually increasing. The smoking is the most common cause of esophageal cancer and definitely by stopping smoking, you can decrease your uh, risk of getting esophageal cancers. The other uh, risks that are associated with esophageal cancer include uh, eating spicy food, uh, barbecued uh, food, salted fish, uh, pickled food. Uh, when we change our diet, uh, this will also help in uh, decreasing the incidence of esophageal cancer. The third common cause of esophageal cancer is reflux and this can definitely be prevented again uh, by checking yourself. If you have symptoms of reflux, uh, such as heartburn, belching, um, throat irritation, chronic throat irritation, accompanied by loss of weight, then we should get yourself tested so that you can prevent yourself or get treated early for esophageal cancer. Esophageal cancer in early stages may not produce any symptoms at all and so you may be completely asymptomatic and this is quite scary. When they do produce symptoms, some of the common symptoms are what we call as dysphagia which means difficulty in swallowing. If you find that there's difficulty in swallowing solids and sometimes even liquids, uh, then this may be one of the symptoms of es esophageal cancer. Again, one could be having vomiting, vomiting of blood or blackish color uh, material or generalized symptoms such as dyspepsia, abdominal pain, chest discomfort, etc. These are the signs of uh, esophageal cancer. Yes, uh, esophageal cancer is uh, treated in a variety of ways. Uh, these involve surgery, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, immunotherapy and sometimes a combination of both. In very early cases of esophageal cancer, when it is a small ulcer, it can be treated with endoscopic resection. When the tumour is slightly bigger, uh, usually surgery is a treatment for it. Uh, when the esophageal cancer is in a higher stage, like a stage 3 or stage 4, usually we would start with by giving chemotherapy uh, or radiotherapy or a mix of chemo and radiotherapy. Sometimes this tumor is shrunk using chemo and radiotherapy and then followed by surgery. So it is a multi-modality treatment. Like in all cancers, uh, when cancer is detected early, there is a higher chance of uh, survival and a higher chance of uh, five years uh, remission. So of course, in stage one, esophageal cancer has got the highest rates of cure with more than 90% cure rates. As the stage gets more and more advanced, then the cure rates will also decrease subsequently. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for your regular dose of Asian health information.